It was just three and a half weeks ago the Village of Oak Park agreed to allocate an additional $1 million to continue housing a group of over 160 migrants that were brought in from Chicago's 15th District Police Station during a Halloween Day snowfall. With that funding set to run out by February the 6th, the Village yesterday sent out a letter to most of them telling them they must move out by the end of January. They gave us the letters last night when we went to pick up our dinner, says Milagros de Marquez, who along with her husband and three children has been living at the Carlton Hotel for five weeks now. The hotel, the local YMCA, and Grace Episcopal Church are the three locations migrants have been living at in Oak Park. So far, it appears the 25 men located at the church may be safe in terms of housing. But those who support them worry whether the wraparound services they get from the village will continue. Mental health, physical health, immigration help, uh, all of that is key to keeping these men healthy and sane, especially as the winter months come upon us. In its memorandum laying out their decision, the village said the village may be able to help asylum seekers relocate to another city or state if they have access to stable housing available in that location. If anyone is unable to identify another option, the village will help individuals and families enter the Chicago Shelter Program in January 2024. But what does that even mean? I don't think it's that simple. Chicago is also at capacity. Oak Park trustee Ravi Parakat saying today the village stepped into a problem that is way bigger than itself. We are not able to create a long-term path for these migrants and we have done that at potentially the expense of them getting better service and better um, you know, opportunities through Chicago. A 7.30 meeting has been called by the impacted migrants and some of the volunteers helping them, during which they hope to obtain some additional clarity as to their path moving forward. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.